are you doing? It's been a rough couple of weeks for me. I've had a lot going on. I'm sorry I didn't get this video to you sooner. Today I am not going to demonstrate. I'm just going to try and give you some examples of um, using value. Um, sorry. Uh, using value for creating depth. So at night, when you have an image that is at night, you want the value to get closer to what the sky is. So if it's at night and the night the sky is dark, you want the land to get smaller, but you also want it to get darker. So it blends into that night sky. That's going to give you another element in being able to create that depth. So this is kind of along that line. Um, let's see if I can get a good... So it's underwater, so it's the same kind of effect as night. Um, so the background here and over here is darker because the lower you get in the water, of course, the darker it gets because less water is coming down. And, of course, you still have some of that lightness that will hit the face and the hand. Okay? And I'm going to come over here. We're going to walk a little bit. You get to see a little bit. This is another example of, again, more of a nighttime sky where the background meets up with more of the values of the sky. Again, giving it that sense of depth. Now, if you're doing daytime, this is not one of mine, but it is a print of a Thomas Kincaid, and it's kind of like midday, early evening time, right? But again, as it goes back, the values get closer together. So you want that. That's what you're looking for when you're using value to create depth, are those things. So you guys saw this one in person. And again, to create that illusion of depth, not only are you making things smaller, but you're making the values back here in this area. Uh, it's all backwards, guys. In this area, you're making it all closer together in value. Okay? So when I'm saying using value to create that depth, that's what I'm talking about. The farther back something gets, the closer in value it gets to the eye. So I, I miss you guys. Um, I'm praying that everything calms down for all of us and that we can get back to this new normal in a in a in the best way possible I can't I am excited and and hoping for a wonderful um, time to see you next school year um, but don't stress don't stress about your artwork don't you know just do have fun with it try to apply the principles but have fun with it give yourself that chance to decompress and relax while you do your artwork even if that means what your artwork is about is what we're we're doing if that's a way you want to express but as long as it's healthy and you're happy and you're you, you know enjoy your artwork I'll see you soon guys I'm gonna try and do a couple more videos over the summer um, but the foreseeable future is really really gonna be um, a little tight for me because of what I have going on but I really miss you guys, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye.